Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for another Springbok update. Um, Rusty Rice was earlier this week, gave a press conference and uh, was asked about the Evan Rua situation, uh, which is something that a lot of people have been quite critical of uh, towards the Springbok management after he was left out of the initial rugby championship sort of squad of 33 that um, departed uh, yesterday, in fact, to Australia, where they'll take on Australia in the two tests over there before coming back and preparing for the All Blacks towards the end of August. And Rassi Rasmus confirming that Ulrich Lowe is very much the eighth man option that has been taken. Um, but I said that Evan Ruiz will be back. He's not been dropped in inverted commas or, you know, uh, been sent back because of uh, a bad game or anything. Um, more about the opportunity to look at a different player. Let's get into it, shall we? Because I think the Springbok number eight is a very interesting um, situation. And... Uh, one which is going to uh, be, I think, at the center of debates for, for a long time, for the next few years. And uh, very interested to see which of these players really sort of grab the number eight jersey and make it their own. Because, you know, we don't quite have a na natural sort of Dwayne Fumian type of player that's coming through. Kevin Harnacorn may be probably the closest, but somebody who's had two pretty serious injuries already in his young career. Can he come back from that? Will he be able to come back and be the same level? Can he remain fit as well? Because, you know, that is something that's also, you know, athletes got to do they got to try and prove they can stay fit you know you can't be a player that comes back after three months plays one game breaks down comes back after two months plays one game breaks down because like in a world cup situation or long term for example it means you become unreliable um so that's what that's i think that's the issue that right now cameron honeycomb has to overcome because from a playing point of view he ticks a lot of boxes and he is on the spring block radar so in terms of the number eight options we've seen we've seen evan Ruiz at eight we've seen quaka smith at eight and now we've seen Alvaro Lowe come on at eight this year um, um, but Evan Ruiz, who has been, uh, was backed against Wales and backed against Portugal, was not named in the rugby championship squad. And therefore, the number eight options are Quaka Smith as well as, um, as, as, as Ulrich Lowe. Um, there was a rumor, for example, that, uh, that there was a rife, that there was a fight between him and, and the Springbok, uh, that had fallen out of favor with the Springbok selectors, for example. But um, Rassi Rasmus came out and basically dismissed this and uh, said that that's not the case at all, which is very important because there are rumors that uh, a lot of Japanese, Japan uh, Rugby League one sides are, are looking to try and uh, lure him away from the storm as he currently has a three-year deal. So not something really that's on the, on the, um, on the cards for him. But uh, this is what Rassi Rasmus had to say about the situation. Then we'll talk about it. He says, we have two full loose forward troops. He says, Marco and Sia can play six. Peter Steph and Pin Jason Dixon can play seven. And Quaka and Alric Lowe can play eight. Alric can also play number seven. He said, I don't think Peter Steph will be utilized at number eight. And uh, certainly Everett is not out of the mix. Before the Portugal test match, we told the guys, get a chance here to go and put up your hand. And certainly a few guys did. But we also, I mean, we also experienced Alric against the big nation because he was always part of our plans. Um, I think there's two things over there. I think, first of all, I don't think Evan Rose managed to put up his hand as much as he probably would have liked. I mean, for example, he walks away as man of the match in that game. He goes to Australia. I think I think he does. Um, so I think that Albert Lowe had a very good game against Portugal. I think he did put his up his hand. And I think it became a bit of a coin toss between the two. And if it's a coin toss between the two, you can sit there and say, well, we haven't seen Albert against some of the better teams. You know, he can't play number seven. Well, let's take him to Australia and see how he, how he does. Um, and uh, he, he talked about the fact that uh, Albrecht dropped off a little bit and is now sort of back in the best. And he said that uh, Lowe, he Lowe did take a dip in form. He will admit it himself. And we know what Evan can do now. And Evan is not thrown away. We still have nine test matches this year. He said, so like we did against Argentina away last year, we picked a totally different team like we did against Portugal. So we are building depth. You know what Evan can do. He certainly didn't have bad games. And we know he is um, he is comfortable in the Springbok setup. We now get to see if Alwe gets a chance and what he can do. We are trying to get caps under the belt. We know what he uh, can do, Evan Ruiz, and we have no problem with what he did for us. But it's time to give Alwe a chance against top tier nations and see what he can do. Um, he was then spoke. Uh, there was then asked about Evan Ruiz and the different type of game, for example, when he plays against for the Stormers versus the Springboks, and he said uh, on defense the roles are pretty much the same as it is with the Stormers. Um, I think most of the South African teams have more or less the same defensive mindsets. There might be small tweaks here and there, um, but we are pretty familiar with the way the Stormers defend with Norman Laker, who's the Stormers coach there, and says there are no descriptions more than what we will have for our 
or for PSDF or Quacker or for anybody else. We are not punching his type of play in. Um, he said, I would rather say we encouraged him more to play the way Evan wanted to play, and he did. He made a few errors like anybody else who hasn't got more than 10 test caps under his belt. Um, so a couple of things to read into there. First of all, acknowledging that Evan has made a few errors. I think he does. I think he sometimes does. I think from a decision-making point of view, sometimes gets things slightly wrong, gets a little bit isolated, um, can sometimes lose possession. So, for example, one of the Portugal tries came from a turnover where the ball got ripped. Um, I don't think he... So I think that that's something he needs to work on, being a bit more um, protective with the ball in, in hand, for example. Um, so I do think it's a combination of he didn't play badly, but didn't play well enough to say you can't leave it behind. And Ulrich Lowe played well enough to put a bit of doubt in the selectors' minds as opposed to what the picking order is. So now Ulrich gets charts. And uh, if he goes and plays two brilliant games against Wales and against Australia, assuming he gets that chance, then I think he goes above Evan Ross, who, you know, then has to wait for his chance. And and this is what we want, really. You know, it's easy to be fans and, and, and just, you know, punt the, the, the team on the player we want. So Storm's fans will be desperate to see Evan Ross playing and, and Bulls play, uh, fans will be desperate to see Albert Lowe fan uh, play. But it's about that competition. And at the end of the day, it's only a good thing if we've got players like Albert Lowe, Quaka Smith, Evan Ross, then a Jasper Visa, for example, hopefully Cameron Heinekorn as well, all fighting for that number eight jersey because that's how you get the best out of players. Players who know that they, as soon as they slip off any sort of level, they can be replaced. What is your preference? Who would you go with? When we did a poll on the on the, on the the live stream, uh, it was actually Quaka Smith who was backed as the, the favorite to win the number eight against Australia. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.